As the space industry continues to expand and record numbers of satellites are launched, the threat of space debris also grows. Whether it's outdated satellites, collisions, weapon tests, etc., space debris could become a more significant problem if not properly dealt with. Thankfully, Rocket Lab, in combination with a host of different companies, are working on solutions. Just recently, for example in June, Rocket Lab signed a dedicated launch deal with Spire Global to deliver its four satellites to low Earth orbit. These satellites will monitor all near-Earth orbits from space, providing invaluable information on satellite and debris tracking. This comes in addition to a contract to launch the active debris removal by Astroscale Japan satellite, a system designed to rendezvous, capture, and bring back space debris from orbit. Here I'll go more in-depth into these upcoming missions, why they're so important, what to expect in the coming weeks, and more. To put the orbital debris problem in perspective, United Launch Alliance CEO Tori Bruno recently wrote about the issue and how to solve it. He was quoted saying, Orbital debris has become something that we must urgently deal with. It's not tomorrow's problem, it's today's issue. And LEO is becoming more crowded every week. In fact, we have more than doubled the objects in orbit since 2019, with many more on the way. This helps put in perspective the current issue and what the future may hold. On the bright side, work is being done to solve it. On June 22nd, Rocket Lab announced that it had signed a dedicated launch deal with Spire Global to deliver its first four Space Situational Awareness, or SSA, satellites to low Earth orbit. The dedicated mission on Electron will deploy the satellites to a 530km circular orbit from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand during a launch window that opens in September 2023. To meet the program requirements, Spire has selected Rocket Lab to launch the satellites on an accelerated timeline within five months of contract signing. Spire has previously launched with Rocket Lab on Electron's first two commercial missions, still testing in its business time in 2018. The customer, headquartered in Montreal, Canada, is the first commercial SSA service provider to actively scan and monitor space from space. The company's block of four satellites, built and operated by Spire, will be the first to simultaneously monitor all near-Earth orbits from space, delivering a radically enhanced level of SSA services to the global satellite community, with timely and precise information for space object detection, tracking, orbit determination, collision avoidance, navigation, and proximity alerts. With the announcement, Rocket Lab founder and CEO Peter Beck said, as with all satellite constellations, the precise placement of the first satellites for a particular mission is critical to the constellation's future success. With Electron's agility, reliability, and proven precision to place satellites exactly where they need to go, dedicated missions like these, one for Spire and North Star, are our bread and butter. Space debris is a global issue and the responsibility of all space users, so it's great to be supporting a mission with a focus on making Earth's orbit safer for everyone. The mission was originally manifested to launch with a now-defunct launch provider, but has now been added to Rocket Lab's 2023 launch manifest to provide an expedited launch. Stuart Bain, CEO of North Star, said, With the untimely setback in launch services, maintaining the plan to launch this year presented an exceptional challenge. But we are confident that we found an excellent, proven launch specialist in Rocket Lab. We recognize the highly effective effort of both Spire Global and Rocket Lab to preserve our plans to make a meaningful contribution to the safety and sustainability of space by launching our unique services this fall, he said. In relation to orbital debris, Tori Bruno also pointed out in a statement that orbital debris is really just pollution, plain and simple. We need to treat it that way and employ similar successful tools that we use here on Earth to clean up rivers, forests, and air quality. And we should stimulate an economic environment that harnesses the power of innovation and capitalism to solve it permanently. This is our path to a sustainable future in space, he commented. While tracking and monitoring orbit provides a host of benefits, actually removing the debris is a completely new challenge. However, in late 2021, Rocket Lab signed a dedicated launch contract with Astroscale Japan, a subsidiary of Astroscale Holdings, a market leader in satellite servicing and long-term orbital sustainability. Scheduled for liftoff from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in 2023, the Electron rocket will launch the active debris removal by Astroscale Japan satellite which was selected by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, for phase one of its commercial removal of debris demonstration project, one of the world's first technology demonstrations of removing large-scale debris from orbit. During the mission, once deployed to a precise orbit by Electron's kick stage, the satellite is designed to rendezvous with a piece of orbital debris, a long-abandoned upper-stage rocket body. It aims to demonstrate proximity operations and obtain images of the rocket body, delivering observational data to better understand the debris environment. A planned second phase of the mission, which is yet to be completed, intends to demonstrate the deorbit of the debris. The ability to actively remove satellites and debris from orbit at the end of their operational life will likely play a key role in ensuring a sustainable space environment for the future, so we're delighted to enable Astroscale to demonstrate new and innovative solutions in this field, said Peter Beck. 
Rendezvousing with a piece of debris on orbit traveling at around 27,000 kilometers per hour is a highly complex task that requires absolute precision when it comes to orbital deployment. Electron's kick stage has demonstrated this precision across 18 missions, providing in-space transportation to place our customer satellites exactly where they need to go. The kick stage is designed to deliver small satellites to precise and unique orbits, whether flying as dedicated or rideshare on Electron. The kick stage's propulsion system consists of Rocket Lab's in-house designed and built Curie engine, six low-minimum impulse bit-cold gas reaction control system thrusters, tank pressurization system, and high-propellant mass fraction tanks which can be scaled to meet mission-specific needs. Curie is an additively manufactured, pressure-fed engine with flight heritage across more than a dozen orbital missions. It's a storable, restartable, bipropellant liquid propellant engine integrated with lightweight composite propellant tanks and valves into a single compact module. Curie enables on-orbit maneuvering and positioning. In a statement, the company said, As the small satellite industry experiences rapid growth, Rocket Lab is determined to be part of the solution for sustainability and the reduction of orbital debris in space. Traditional methods of deploying satellites can leave large rocket stages in orbit, contributing to the global issue of space debris. The kick stage has been designed with the capability to deorbit itself on an accelerated timescale, well before the 25-year deorbit guidelines stipulated by NASA. By performing a deorbit burn with the Curie engine, Rocket Lab can lower the kick stage's perigee to increase aerodynamic drag on the spacecraft and cause it to deorbit within months or single-digit years, as required. The kick stage has also functioned as a platform for hosted payloads, as demonstrated during Rocket Lab's third mission, its business time. Following payload deployment of several CubeSats, a drag sail technology demonstrator remained integrated on the kick stage to test new materials and technologies designed to enable faster deorbiting of spacecraft once they reach end of life. These unique features help facilitate a host of missions, and especially satellites that need a very precise launch, something both these upcoming missions will benefit from in the future. Reliable and commercially viable launch vehicles like Rocket Lab's Electron rocket enable frequent and flexible access to space allowing us to advance our on-orbit services, which are fundamental to the growth of the space infrastructure and economy, said the founder and CEO of Astroscale. Rocket Lab and Astroscale have become leaders in our respective markets, and I'm thrilled to collaborate with them, a groundbreaking mission that will shape the technologies and policies needed to drive space sustainability forward, he said. Rocket Lab is working with a few different companies to help tackle the issue of orbital debris. The two missions will work to track and remove large pieces of space junk. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.